Hello friends, <coughs> today we will discuss what process engineer do or what kind of calculation process did an engineer perform for uh, control valve sizing. So you know we depict the control valve like this, so this is a kind of control valve. So we consider the upstream pressure of this control valve is P1 and downstream pressure of this control valve is P2. The control valve sizing means we want to calculate the CV value of a control valve. Because CV value is the characteristic of a control valve. It tells how much pressure drop it will take for different flow and how much flow rate will pass through it and with what pressure drop. So we'll take that how we achieve to get the value of uh, CV value of a control valve. So let's start with some example. So let's say we have a control, uh, we, we want to size a control, let's say we have a pump here and in the discharge of pump we have a control valve which is like this and then it is going to some vessel here and now we have a vessel here the suction vessel from where the liquid is taking my drawing is not very good so let's consider it so this is a control valve so <coughs> we want to calculate the CV value of this control valve for liquid case So let's say this is the upstream pressure P1, this is the downstream pressure P2 of a control valve and this is a pump, centrifugal pump. So first of all, we, we will have three flows, one is normal flow, second is maximum flow. and third is minimum flow so let's say our given normal flow is 100 meter cube per hour and our maximum flow is 120 meter cube per hour and minimum flow is 30 meter cube per hour now we know the control valve formula or oh, we can say this is 100 GPM we can take in GPM also this is 120 GPM gallon per minute this is 30 GPM gallon per minute so we know the formula of control valve C, uh, this Q equal to CV square root of delta P upon specific gravity so, so why I have taken this in GPM because this formula in this formula we use all values in FPS unit and the flow rate unit in FPS is gallon, gallon per minute and the delta P we will take in PSI and then this is and a specific gravity you know this is uh, density of uh, fluid divided by the density of water so let's say we take the example of water so specific gravity of water is 1 so now we know this thing and we know this value but we don't know delta P so delta P is what we want to get delta P1 here uh, this or we can say N delta P N this is delta P M max this is delta P minimum so what is it actually this is the difference between P1 minus P2 upstream and downstream pressure <coughs> similarly here P1 minus P2. Similarly here P1 minus P2. 
once we know this value so we can calculate the CV value of a control valve so how we are going to do this actually we know this let's say here the required pressure is let's say one bar is okay, one bar is and we know the piping length from here to here is let's say this is L1 and from here to here from pump discharge to here it is L2 so by using the Darcy, uh, Darcy equation delta P equal to rho F L V square upon 2D we'll calculate delta P for different length so this L we can put L1 which is the equivalent length and for calculating and uh, here we can use when we want to calculate the delta P here so we can calculate uh, use like this uh, first formula delta P equal to rho F L1 V square by 2D and the second we can use delta P equal to rho F L2 V square upon 2D so we <coughs> this is one bar so if, if we know that this is the pr uh, pressure drop here so if we add that pressure drop in one bar so we'll get p2 value so p2 value will be one bar plus pressure drop delta pf this is delta pf actually fictional pressure drop so that will give the p2 value and p1 value similarly if we know this discharge pressure of a pump so we reduce this delta pf here which is this one so we'll get p1 value so for different different flow rate we'll calculate these values and then we will get the value delta p1 and delta p2 let's say for this uh, normal flow rate delta p1 delta pn is 10 psi so we want to get the value of cv so q is 100 gpm sorry 100 gpm equal to cv under root of 10 divided by 1 implies that 1000 100 divided by square root of 10 equal to cv or cv equal to square root of 10 is 3.7 3.16 i think so 100 divided by 3.16 so it will be approximate 30 c value 30 now this is our c value so this is the way how we calculate the control valve c value in the le next lecture i will tell you how to check the controllability of a control valve and dangerability of a control valve thanks for watching my youtube channel bye